Okay guys, this is just a quick video um, to kind of show you guys one way of drilling the gas porthole on a barrel. There are other ways, there are probably better ways. This is what I call the poor man's jig. And it's a pretty effective way of doing it. Um, you, you'll get good results and you won't uh, have to worry about whether or not it's trued up or not. Um, really the most important thing to do with this, you can do this without the barrel, uh, sorry, action block. I have done it without an action block before, but um, this way makes it a little bit easier, especially if you're going to be doing multiple barrels, um, if you can can vice it up in an action block. most important thing is to make sure that it's level um, this way. I don't know if the camera's going to show that, but that, that is actually level. And then on the Yankee Hill machine, uh, but, sorry, gas block, um, you want to make sure that that is level too as well. You flip it upside down, there's a nice flat surface across here. Um, remove the set screw underneath the actual gas hole on the back. You want to make sure that your orientation is correct, that you've got this smaller hole towards the front of the barrel. Um, if not, if it's flipped around, you're going to have problems. So make sure of that. Um, go ahead and make sure it's level across here. I usually go ahead and set the set screw right here as well, um, the one that's still in there. And then what you're going to do is make sure that your um, drill press is lined up with the hole correctly so that it just drops straight in there. I'm going to make sure that the table underneath is supporting the barrel. Um, it will be supporting it on the gas block itself, so that is one thing to watch out for. You do want to make sure that that screw is snug if you can. Um, if you don't have an Allen wrench handy, I'd recommend getting one. And um, basically once you've got it set up this way, what you can do is drill one barrel remove the gas block, pull this barrel out of the action, slide another one in, and everything should already be trued up and level. Um, so it's a really quick way of doing it um, if you're going to be doing multiple barrels uh, like I am going to be today. Um, and yeah, at this point, what I like to do is set it up with just a um, taper bit like this one. Um, you're not going to go very far. This is really just to mark the hole, um, get it started, and it will also provide a little bit of a chamfer uh, in those holes in case your gas block isn't lined up perfectly for whatever reason it should still feed into it pretty effectively. Um, I, ideally um, if you can use a center bit um, that works as well. Um, you won't get any sort of wobble out of it. It's very rigid. Um, the only problem is that the way that my vise is set up I just moved in the way that it's set up right now the vise is too low to allow this bit to reach. To reach. So I'm, I'm using a conical bit um, today and those those work fine as well. I've used those in the past with no problem either. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I can't really record it because I'm kind of my own cameraman right now. Um, but I am just going to go ahead and just do a just a really simple drill into that uh, that spot right there, just to put a little dimple in it and mark my hole.